गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सो इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर ऑन चैप्टर नंबर एट प्रियरीज द लैंड ऑफ ग्रासेस ओके इन दिस इन दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट आर ग्रास लैंड ओके सो वॉट आर ग्रास लैंड चिल्ड्रन अ ग्रास लैंड इज एन एरिया वेयर द वेजिटेशन इज डोमिनेट बाय ग्रास मीन्स मोस्ट ऑफ द लैंड इज कवर्ड विद ग्रास दैट इज अ ग्रास लैंड ग्रास लैंड अगर नेचुरली ऑल कॉन्टिनेंट एक्सेप्ट एंटार्क्टिका ओके देर आर स्मॉल स्मॉल ग्रास लैंड इन एवरी कॉन्टिनेंट बट नॉट नॉट द लॉन्ग वन ओके एंड ग्रास लैंड मोस्टली अकर्ड इन टेम्परेट ओके टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड आर लोकेटेड इन टेम्परेट जोन नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट विच ग्रास लैंड टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड विच आर लोकेटेड इन विच जोन टेम्परेट जोन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट temperate zone where it is located like near equator it is toroid zone and uh between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn we have temperate zone see this diagram in this this is toroid zone and here between tropic of cancer and arctic circle we have north temperate zone and here in tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle we have south temperate zone so the grassland lies in these temperate grassland lies in these temperate zones these are climate zones we have studied in previous chapters so this line says about the same that temperate zone between the tropic of cancer 23 and 1/2 degree north and antarctic circle arctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree north in northern hemisphere and between the tropic of capricorn 23 and 1/2 degree south and the antarctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree south in the southern hemisphere so the grassland are known as the different names in different continents like it is called prairie in north america prairie is in north america here pampas in south america here it is pampas in south america steps in russia here is the steps in russia veld in south africa this one is veld and this one is savannas okay and here we have downs downs in australia okay so these are the different different name of different different grassland around the world the prairie lying in the central part of north america are temperate grassland so here we are talking about now this prairie which is lying in north america prairie is the french word a meadow grass grazed by cattle which is the meaning of that a long grassland now this is we have already discussed now let's go to the location of the prairie region where it is located so the prairie are vast area of tall grasses located in central part of north america so you can see that it is located in the center of north america far away from the ocean it is not located near the ocean in the usa matlab united states of america it covers the state of north dakota south dakota and nebraska and kansasa and it is uh, oklahoma so these are the part of the state and some parts of colorado new mexico texas and illinois illinois isko hum padhte hain we read this illinois and minnesota these are the areas covered by the grassland you can find all these areas in this map okay and there are two important river mississippi and missouri which provide water to these uh, grasslands so here is the location of this grassland in which uh, country in united states of america and i have told you about this map also that they are long grass they are medium size grass and they are the shortest grass so now let's discuss about the climate of prairies so children as the prairie region lies in temperate zone which is not very hot not very cold but however the prairies experience extreme type of climate what does the meaning of extreme type of climate it means 
hot summers and very cold winters so how does the uh, what kind of climate is there hot summers and very cold winters are there the temperature can go low as minus 20 degrees celsius during winters and rainfall is moderate means rainfall is very less and extremely variable across different parts of prairies means it is moderate and it is different in different different areas like in india thar desert experience less rainfall and northern plains and coastal areas experience more rainfall same like this that some area receive more rainfall and some area receive less rainfall the southern prairies is highly prone to droughts means it is suffering from droughts droughts means sukha okay southern prairie southern part of the prairies is experiencing the drought condition also that much less rainfall moreover the areas is hit by the numerous thunderstorm and occasional tornadoes thunderstorm you all know that okay and tornadoes are uh, very fast rotating winds in circular okay okay this is the picture of a tornado which is circularly rotating wind and it cause very much destruction around okay it is it is occasionally seen in prairie region now let's talk about the vegetation see here is the picture of mississippi river so the prairie is covered with expanses of grass expanse of grass we all know that because it is a grassland which are green during summer how they are green during the summer season and brown during the autumn season okay only a few trees such as willow and oak are found near the bank of mississippi and missouri river so you can see some few trees are here they are of oak trees and willow trees rest of the area is covered with grass in addition these tree less grasslands have suitable climate and fertile soil but what they have these grassland they have suitable climate and very fertile soil for the growth of grasses like wheat and maize which thing wheat and maize in fact the prairies are the biggest wheat growing area of the world and the usa export surplus wheat to other countries so the prairie region is the biggest uh, areas which growing the wheat in higher amount and usa also export wheat to other countries as a result prairies are well known as the wheat basket of the world not only of the american continent but the, it is known as the wheat basket of the world so this is all about the vegetation of prairie region let's move towards the wildlife of this area okay a wide variety of animals and birds are found in prairie region a lot of animals and birds so a wide variety of grazing animals are seen in these grasslands common animals are found are deer antelopes black tail prairie dog which is picture have given here i'll share you more pictures etc while the birds including the golden eagle hawks owls and mocking birds okay so these are the four kind five kinds of birds it's very common now let's talk about this animal okay the american buffaloes known as bisons were very commonly spotted there in this region but they are almost extinct now why they are extinct why they are their number is decreasing because of the people are hunting them for their meat and skin so a lot of hunting decreases the number of bison in a uh, prairie region even from the thousands or millions they are comes in the counting of hundreds only so skill for life it is given here the policy of indiscriminate means without any thinking okay indiscriminant killing killing of bison american buffalo for its hide hide means skin okay and meat so 
so that it could be sold ex extensively in the foreign market and a large amount of money could be earned lead to the lead to the dramatic drop in bison count mean number of bison is now decreased for millions to few hundred they are of in million of number the bahut sare the wahan par ab bas kuch hi reh gaye hain almost causing their extinction so this american bison is now very less numbers in there so this topic life of the people in prairie region we will study in next video and up to now you read this chapter and uh, uh, submit your previous work to me thank you bye bye